Um, in that space, your way more. Uh, you know, I've tried to do that uh, once long ago when I had a little company called International Bhaiji Brigade with a financier who then fled. Um, but, uh, but in that one year where I got 85 scripts and I was combing through them, it was bloody tough work. Either you're a producer or you're a filmmaker, you know. And I actually find this, a lot of my friends who are producers here, who are great directors, end up getting exhausted by their own films suffering because they're producing other people's films. So I'm not really interested in doing that big production company that's a buzz with a lot of people. What I'm interested in and what I've committed to is actually training people, you know, training the craft, uh, bringing the craft and the rigor of screenwriting and actual directing and production to those who don't have it. My mantra is if we don't tell our own stories, no one else will. And that is the mantra that has set up Maisha, my film school in East Africa, where we do this, it's a free school where I bring people that are like the likes of you to come and mentor uh, our filmmakers who are in that, in that in this sense East African because I'm there. Uh, and you'd hardly ever see an African movie made by Africans. So I thought I'm living there, I should do this. So now we're in our ninth year and we've trained like 650 people and they're all working in the media. They're really creating a film, film culture there. And I've done this kind of mentoring a lot. You know, in, I teach at Columbia University. I teach mostly at my shadow. So that kind of, you know, that kind of training for me is more interesting than running a big, little big business, you know, and producing other people's films. But now I am going to do that. I'm going to do that one uh, next year. Uh, Shimit Amin, who's a great, great director and who was so fantastic in e editing my film, The Reluctant Fundamentalist, I really have great faith in his talent and his art. And uh, I hope to be producing a film um, that he will direct. Uh, next year, inshallah. Yeah. You know, uh, you've weirdly worked with huge stars abroad, whether it was Denzel Washington, Reese Witherspoon, Uma Thurman, Kiefer Sutherland, and uh, you've also worked with some stars, yeah? and you've tried to. I mean, what is the, uh, why is it so much more elusive here? Do you think they don't understand your work? Actors don't understand your work? Or what is it? I mean, I, I have, you know, I've, I've worked with Irfan Khan, who's amazing, and Tabu, and, and a wonderful, wonderful actors. Nasiruddin Shah is like my torch bearer of excellence in any part of the world. But whenever, in certain movies, like The Namesake, and even in The Reluctant Fundamentalist, I did a number of auditions, which they don't do here, but like meetings with movie stars, hoping that my film perhaps could open in markets here in a bigger way. And I found, well, in the, in the case of the namesake, it's about an American boy who happens to be Indian, you know, and, and, and I, I talked to a movie star here about it, and, and it's, it's firstly, in the essence, they are not American.